All right, guys, video for the leg. It might be the last video you ever have. You can cry now. All right, so what we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna do the muscles of the butt first. So this is gonna be your gluteus maximus on the outside. And in order to see the medius and the minimus, we actually need to get the maximus off. So underneath, this muscle here would be your gluteus medius. And even though it's not exactly accurate, we don't have a model where we can actually see the minimus. So for lab purposes, we're gonna call this the gluteus minimus here. So it's gluteus minimus, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus. Now we're gonna spin to the side. This chunk of muscle here that turns into a big long piece of fascia or connective tissue is going to be your tensor fascia latte. So the tensor fascia latte is here. And if we spin, now we're looking at the front side of the leg. We have a group of four muscles here. One, two, three, and there's actually one hiding underneath here. It's four. This group is called the quadriceps femoris. So quad means four. It should make sense there's four muscles. The word for middle when you talk about muscles is rectus. So this can be your rectus femoris because it's in the middle on the femur, hence femoris. So rectus femoris here. We take the rectus femoris off. You have your vastus lateralis. If you look down at the foot, you can see this is the lateral side, just your baby toe. So this would be your vastus lateralis. Whereas over here, you're on the medial side, it's gonna be vastus medialis. And in the middle, this one here is gonna be your vastus intermedius. So those are your quadriceps as a group, all four of them. So put this back on. Okay. Moving along, spinning towards the inner thigh. We have a little skinny muscle here that looks kind of like a sash. It's called the sartorius muscle. And then even further in, you have your inner thigh muscle, which goes straight up and down. This is called the gracilis. In cat, you're just going to see these two. They're going to cover the entire inner thigh, just so you know. So sartorius is here, gracilis is here. In between them, here and also over here, you have adductor muscles. You don't need to know the difference for which one's which. Just know them as the adductors as a group. Now we're looking at the back of the thigh. So in the back of the thigh, you have three muscles. You have one here, you have one here, and you have one hiding underneath it here. This one here is going to be your biceps femoris. So biceps femoris is here. This large muscle here that then turns into a big tendon that wraps around is going to be your semi-tendinosis. And then hiding underneath them right here is going to be your semi-membranosis. So those guys are kind of like friends that always hang out with each other. And I believe that's the top of the leg. That's it. So now we're moving to the lower leg. Starting in the front. This bone is the tibia. So the muscle that's on the front of the tibia, shockingly enough, is called the tibialis anterior. So tibialis anterior is here. Spinning around towards the outside of the leg, we follow the tendons up. So starting at the big toe, which is called the hallux. You guys hopefully remember that from chapter one. You follow the tendon up to this little tiny muscle right here. This is going to be your extensor hallucus, or hallucius, however you want to pronounce it. Extensor hallucus, because you're extending the toes up. So it's extensors, and it's going to the hallux, so it's hallucus. Moving over, if you follow the little tendons going from the toes, follow them up. They all converge under this muscle here. So this would be your extensor digitorum. So you have tibialis anterior, extensor hallucis, extensor digitorum, spinning around. This bone underneath this muscle is gonna be your fibula. So there's two muscles, there's one here and then there's a little shorter one down here. So the big long one is gonna be your fibularis or peroneus longus. And the shorter one's gonna be the fibularis or peroneus brevis. I usually call it fibularis because it makes sense because it's on the fibula. All right, to the back. This large muscle that has two big pieces that kind of converge into a single point is going to be your gastrocnemius muscle. Hiding underneath your gastrocnemius or calf muscle is a skinny guy here called the soleus. So the soleus is here. You can also see him peeking out on this side over here. It's going to be the same location in cat. So now what we need to do is get the gastrocnemius and soleus out of the way. Underneath, this is the back of the knee region. So this muscle that wraps around the back of the knee is going to be your pop popliteus muscle because it's your popliteal region. So popliteus is here. The deep muscle that's right along the back um, of your tibia, kind of running along, it's number 40 if you can barely see it, but it actually runs right along the back of the tibia all the way down, is going to be your tibialis posterior. Now I'm not sure how other instructors are going to do it, so I'm going to teach you both ways just to make sure you get it both ways. Um, the flexor hallucis. So we can label flexor hallucis here, this large muscle, believe it or not, goes all the way down and wraps around the bottom and goes to your big toe. So it's going to flex your toe, your big toe down. So it's going to be flexor hallucis here, or if you're nicer, or practical like I usually am, flexor hallucis is also this muscle here that flexes the big toe. So it's either one of those. As far as digitorums go, um, we're running out of, running out of options basically. But you can see here, here's your popliteal here, your popliteus muscle, your posterior tibialis muscle, tibialis posterior, your flexor hallucis muscle, which leaves this one here. So this one is going to be your flexor digitorum. So you can label it here along the, uh, basically the back of the leg, or additionally you could also label it as this little chunk of muscle here. If you follow the tendons, they go to the toes, they flex them down in, so flexor digitorum is here. That's it. All right, guys, last cat video for the semester. So it's going to be the lower leg. Um, we had a pretty nice little cat here, so this should work. 
uh, butt muscles. The only ones we need to know for the cat are the maximus and the medius. How do you tell them apart? Look at the direction of the fibers. So if you actually zoom in, you can see that the fibers are going crisscross. They're going kind of, well, in this direction. They go in this direction, they have to be gluteus maximus. So gluteus maximus goes this way, whereas gluteus medius, which is kind of ripped up, the fibers actually go up and down, like kind of long, along the same direction as the spine would go. So it's medius if it's up here, gluteus maximus if the fibers go this way down here. Moving into the thigh. So this one is obviously the deep muscle, so if we put it back, this muscle I just put back is going to be your biceps femoris. You can see it over here too, so this is also biceps femoris. So that's going to be the only muscle you see on the back side of the leg. Once you cut it off, you're going to see some stuff underneath. So you can basically see this muscle here, this muscle here, a muscle stuck right there, and then the muscle up here. So this one here, that's the very, very farthest back one, turns into a big tendon. It's going to be your semi-tendinosis. Next door to him is his buddy he always hangs out with, the semi-membranosis. Next to that, this one here is going to be your adductor femoris at, on the femur, so femoris. And then the one you can see here that actually wraps all the way around to the front is going to be your vastus lateralis, part of that quadriceps femoris group. So we're going to flip. So you can see here, you got a muscle in the way that's got a big long piece of tendon basically attached to it. That's going to be your tensor fascia latte. Just like in people, it's got the big piece of fascia. So tensor fascia latte, we get it kind of out of the way. We can see, this is still vastus lateralis wrapping all the way around. You can still see it from this side too. So vastus lateralis would be this one I'm pinching right here. Which means that this one on the inside would be the vastus medialis, and the one in the middle would be the rectus femoris. Now in order to see your quadricep muscles, you actually need to get a muscle out of the way. This originally was over it like that. So this muscle that is in the way now is the sartorius muscle. So you can see sartorius here, you can see sartorius over here. So you have to actually cut the sartorius off, reflect it back, and then you can see your tensor fascia latte, your vastus lateralis, your rectus femoris, and your vastus medialis. Other than the sartorius, the other muscle you can see on the inside of the leg is going to be your gracilis muscle right here. So these are gracilis, and everything else we need to see is going to be in the lower leg. <coughs> so if we come down this direction, we can still see some semitendinosis hanging out. But down here, we have our big, large calf muscle, which is going to be the gastrocnemius. Underneath, we have a little skinny muscle that's trying to hide called the soleus. So the soleus is here. And on the front of the tibia is going to be the tibialis anterior. Just remember, you can see these muscles from both directions. So if I flip the cat back on its belly, look at it from this side, you still see gastrocnemius, you still see the little skinny soleus, and then the tibialis anterior is still going to be in the front. And that is it. Good luck. Okay, guys, this is going to be your adductor longus muscle.